Have you found yourself in constant arguments about the simplest things that you know are important, but your child just doesn't value it? Do you feel like you are in lecture mode all the time just to get your child to care about something that you know is of value and completely reasonable for you to want them to care about? Well, if that is your situation, you are gonna love this video because we are gonna talk about how to get your child to care and really delve into some of the reasons why that is going on so you know how to best put together your how to get them to actually care about something because in this how-to series we are focusing on the fact that the first step to how to is to always understand the why behind the behavior. So if you have not been following this how-to series with Flying the Wall Counseling, uh, I will provide some links up here for you to check out those other videos. I have done one already on listening as well as focusing. And so today we're going to talk about caring and then we have a few more coming up in the future. So make sure that you have subscribed to make sure that you get those new videos and you can have answers to your most pressing questions. And I know that these are the top questions that parents have because I simply, I'll be honest, went to Google and typed in, how do I get my child to? And these were the top six responses on there. So I wanted to do some videos for you parents to equip you to be able to address the most challenging, frustrating things that you're dealing with with your child. And that's what I do. So if you are not familiar with Fly on the Wall Counseling and who I am, my name is Jillian. I'm a licensed clinical professional counselor. Fly on the Wall Counseling is all about equipping parents to be able to not just improve their child's behavior, but increase their confidence in their parenting and to restore peace to their hearts and to their homes. And that's what this series is all about, is increasing your confidence as a parent to be able to address some of these tough issues. So today we're going to talk about how to get your child to care. Now, as I jump into this, I want everyone to be sure they know, of course, we can never fully change or dictate what somebody's heart is feels, or values. We all have some intrinsic values, some innate values that came to us very naturally. So there are some people who really value fashion and makeup. Uh, I am not one of those people, <laughs> if you have noticed. Um, but you know, there's that innate value. Some people just really love that and gravitate toward that. Some people innately love hunting and fishing. Some people innately love certain types of sports or arts and crafts or reading. There's this innate value within them that they really love something. And, you know, for example, my husband, um, he would have been diagnosed with Asperger's, but First of all, Asperger's is no longer a diagnosis. They have lumped that into autism. And um, they don't do adult diagnoses. And since I am a clinical counselor, I can tell that he would meet those specifications. But for him, he didn't value school growing up. And this was a major battle between him and his parents because his parents had an innate value for school, for education and really wanted him to do well and he just could care less because he was extremely intelligent, still is extremely intelligent, and just didn't see the value in performing for somebody else, doing what a school told him to do and earning some piece of paper at the end of it. For him, he did not value school 
And it took him a while to find his passion and to find some purpose. And, you know, until he found that, he didn't really buy into earning that piece of paper. And he still really doesn't value the traditional education because he knew that he was equipping himself in a way that would still make him valuable to society. Um, he was confident in his intelligence and his ability to perform. So, you know, that's a great example of how some people just don't really care. And, you know, it he actually almost got kicked out of college and turned things around and now has an incredibly successful career with the FDA and is an amazing microbiologist, but he didn't care about school. And I bring up that example because I know there are a lot of people out there who wish their kids would care about school, or maybe you wish your child would care about hygiene, or you wish your child would care about being kind to other people, and they're just not buying in, and you're extremely worried about their future ramifications for this. You know, does that mean that your child is going to be unsuccessful? Does that mean your child is going to, you know, be a jerk? Does that mean that your child is going to be greasy and grimy when they get older? You worry about them not caring because of the long-term ramifications if they don't value something. And so what this tends to do is it gets parents into lecture mode, which really to kids is kind of like nagging. And if we are honest with ourselves, you know, who has ever grown, who has ever really changed their mind and gotten on board with something because someone nagged them to death about it? And let me also add the caveat that it's not if you think you're nagging about it, it's if they think you are nagging about it. And you may think, you know, oh, well, that's really unreasonable. Like they have a really short tolerance for me bringing things up. And every time I, I bring something up, they say, oh, you always tell me this, or you always talk about this, or why do, why are we talking about this again? Or I know, you know these are the, the phrases that you hear from your kids. That means that you're exasperating them on that topic. That means that they've reached their limit and you're to the point where they have categorized it as nagging and their reality matters. Just because you think you have not oversaturated their minds about this, if they feel like you have, you have their tolerance is what matters in this. Because as soon as you get to that point, they are tuning you out. And if you have a child who is strong-willed, who is spirited, or maybe even have a diagnosis of ODD, you know, they are going to actually care even less because you care so much. When you continue to show how much you care and how much this is important to you, and you actually even might get to the point where you're starting to express some of your fear and that you are afraid that you have a lack of control over this. Because like we said before, you can't change a child's heart. You cannot dictate how they feel or what they value. And when children get a sense of, hey, I have some control in this, or I can have power over mom's or dad's emotions, by not caring. That's really enticing for them, especially if they're one of those strong-willed, spirited, or children with ODD. You know, they love having power and control over someone's emotions. That's a lot of power and control for them to have. And so when you get into lecture mode, when you show how much you care and you bring it up over and over and over again, this is an opportunity for them to dig their heels in the ground and say, to bad and they actually get some pleasure from not caring and it actually can motivate them to continue to not care or value it. So you may be caring too much. 
you can't care about something more than your child and have them all of a sudden turn around you know and just care about it all of a sudden um, there are plenty of people that I interact with on a daily basis that I wish they would care more and value more the services that I could provide to them and bring them relief to their situation in their home but they care more about money or they care more about spending on something else um, or whatever it may be you know we can't care more for somebody and get them to make that shift on their own we have to let them know what the value is and sometimes a lecture is not the way most of the time a lecture is not the way to do that we need to learn how to speak people's currency you need to learn how to speak your child's currency what is valuable to them what do they already care about you can use this to your advantage you can tie that into those things that you know are extremely valuable that they're just not valuing yet because it's not an innate value that they have and perhaps even the things you're asking them to do or asking them to care about you didn't care about when you were a child or this was something that you had to cultivate care about so for example chores your child is probably not going to care about chores and you know what you probably didn't care about the dishes or you didn't care about vacuuming or dusting or having a lemony fresh smelling kitchen until maybe you had your own um, or you realize that oh wow if I let things go to a certain point that's not fun or that degrades the value of that or I pay a price for that later your child probably hasn't cultivated that value yet or cared about it yet because they haven't had that life experience to get them to that point so you can start to help them to care by speaking in their currency what do they already care about bringing that into the thing that you know is valuable and helping them to cultivate that care over time um, it's not going to be a night and day difference they may care a teensy bit more tomorrow and a teensy bit more a week from tomorrow and over time that will grow and their care will be cultivated um, but we can't expect change overnight and you have to get on their level you have to use their logic their wisdom and in the focus video um, I talked a lot about child wisdom versus adult wisdom so you may want to check that out to get more info on that but you need to get on their level about why they should care not based on what you know and why you care but why as a child that should be important to them find out what brings up their interest and relate it on their level now another reason why they may not care about something is because you haven't let them experience the fallout of what happens when they don't care so you know some of these things may be harder so maybe they're supposed to feed and take care of the dog and you really don't want to get to the point where if they don't take care of the dog you know the dog is suffering that's maybe not an okay thing for for you to draw out and not let them care about but you know what about not cleaning their room could you allow them to get to that point where they experience the fallout from not cleaning their room to start to care about their room being clean what about getting their homework done will you allow them to get to the point where they fail or fall to experience the fallout and the pain of not passing or not doing well right remember i said um for my husband's example he had to fail he had to get to the point of almost getting kicked out to start to care sometimes people have to fall and they have to fall hard to learn 
some of you have kids who are very strong-willed who have to learn the hard way in order for them to start to cultivate caring. So it may be that you need to enter into that scary realm where you're letting them fail, where you're letting them fall. And unfortunately, that may mean that you have to experience some disadvantages. You have to also experience some hardship, some frustrating things along with them, but that's part of the fallout too for them to experience, for them to know that them not caring impacts the people they care about too. That can be extremely powerful to them, for them to see that and to experience that. So sometimes we need to experience something difficult. They need to experience something difficult for them to start to cultivate care. And that brings me to the last thing I would like to bring up, which is don't focus on the thing. Focus on your relationship. You battling back and forth with them to care about something is not going to change their mind about caring about that thing. They are more likely to change their behavior, to change their heart when they see how important something is to you and they feel how much they love and care about you. So if you're struggling about getting them to care about something, don't care or don't focus on that thing. Start to focus on your relationship with them. Build into that. Cut out the lectures, cut out the nagging, and bring in the relationship building. Let them see how what you care about naturally manifests in your life and focus on building your relationship with them because the more they love you, the more likely they will love the things that you love, the more likely they will care about the things you care about because their relationship with you is so valuable and so well built. I hope that you found this to be encouraging. If you liked any of the tips that I shared, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Feel free to share this along and let's get as many people on board with getting their child on track to start caring, to start valuing the things that you as parents value because Clearly, if you value them and you want to teach these things to them, they're important and they ought to be cared about. They ought to be cultivated in terms of their values. And so I encourage you, share this along, rewatch it if you need to, check out the other how-to videos and get your child on track to caring about the things that are most important to you.